Okay, I almost forgot to make a video or make the video. So here I have the 3D printed part chucked up in my lathe and I went with uh, some used, what is it, sandpaper over it, 120 grain and this is what I got zoom in so it does get shiny and it does get the rough spots out and my fingers black i almost put a glove on my fingers but then remembered do not put any gloves um, while working on a lathe so anyway i will do this a little further and see what happens. Gets shinier and shinier and smoother and smoother. So you can definitely <clears throat> um, you can definitely get black fingers, but you can smooth it out and it gets shiny. And as Nick suggested, I do have uh, stainless steel media to tumble it. And I also have glass beads to sandblast it with glass beads in case I want or I want it matte again or dull again and not that shiny. But it does smooth it out. I will continue to do it and see where I get. Okay, a little more sanding down. And the surface does get smoother and uh, but you can see how deep the uh, how rough the surface is so you have to sand it down pretty much to get it even i don't i don't even think i'm gonna get this out all the way uh, now you ask why i'm not turning it down because i don't know how hard this material is or how dense it is and uh, last thing I want to do is destroy it so that's why I am sanding it down currently with uh, 100 grit sandpaper and um, but it's actually pretty slow so it's pretty hard but uh, I don't know about the forces applied if I do it with the uh, lathe itself so here we go a little more sanding Thank <laughs> you. 
sure if I should try to turn it on. But then again, I'm not sure if his, if this is the right bit, and uh, there's just too many unknown factors for me to try it. Oh, it does it catch on? <laughs> But I won't do it. I will keep doing it with the sandpaper and uh, we will see how it turns out in the end. Okay, there goes nothing. I will try it. I will be the guinea pig of 3D printed metal versus CNC lathe with a bit. I'm not sure what kind of bit that is or what special uh, special metal it's for um, but we will try and see what happens here we go you're live Okay, let me check why it stopped. Well, I thought I did something wrong, but it is the limit switch that triggered. You can see down here. But luckily I have it with the screw so I can move it further down. So I can get to the end of it and hopefully not run into my chuck. So let me adjust that and I'll be back. So for anybody who is interested in the settings and the feed rates I have and the RPM I upped it up to 1000 RPM and um, now I will make a pass with 0.01 millimeter to see if I can get it any shinier than, than this okay here we go again running into the e-stop because I don't want to catch the chuck this bit's gonna be gone then so well I don't know what kind of surface I can expect from this uh, unknown metal it's 3d printed but you can machine it with a lathe and uh, I will see if I can uh, get it smoother with higher grid sandpaper and I'm to be honest not exactly sure if I could, should go with higher speed less feed or what to get it smoother and also this bit might be the wrong bit for it I cannot tell so anyway, at least it's round now, that's for sure. So actually using a 80 grit sandpaper, you can see here, I made it less shiny again because uh, 
it's not gonna have to be shiny at the end it has to have a nice texture I could probably go a little better on this but it's still much better than from before where you all had uh, 3d printing lines I'll show you the face that actually looks not bad at all I don't know if I'm gonna sandblast it or tumble I uh, probably won't tumble because then it's gonna get shiny again and I kinda want this matte finish and uh, Actually, might not look the best on the video, but I do like the way it looks now, and it's smooth, it's nice. So, the answer to all this, or the conclusion, you can absolutely machine. 3d printed parts and if you know what you're doing you might even be able to do it better than I did here sending it down um, to get the marks out is actually impossible because you just follow the the dimples and whatnot so you do have to use a, a lathe that will take off uh, certain layer all the time on each pass and uh, I do like this I will go a little bit over more and then I have to figure out something for this side obviously I cannot well I can uh, hold it like that and then turn this part down which I might do because I for that reason I saved some soda cans that I will use to protect from markings from the chuck or from the how you call this is the chuck how you call these well you know what I mean uh, let me go a little bit over this a little more there are some lines here that I want to get rid of and then I will try to do the back okay I actually gonna leave it with this finish I went down to 40 grit to take out some shiny spots that I had somehow and then finished it up with 80 grit and I think this is looking nice I think it's the dust in there Is there dust? Well, I don't know if I... I don't know what kind of metal it is exactly, so... And... Uh, But I'm gonna leave it as this. If anybody has any idea for better finishing, surface finishing, I don't know, is that grease from my hands getting in there or what? It gets shinier when I go with my fingers over it. So I guess to get a consistent surface finish you have to either sandblast it or tumble it. But that's how it got. And I might just leave this as is, as a contrast 
to before after since it's not gonna hurt me doesn't bother me I might just go with the hand over to get some of the edges off but well, actually while I'm at it yeah, wrong making it tighter so I think it looks much better than before before it looked like this as you can see in my previous video got dust all over it but I like it it beats PLA any time of the day And then I will I'm do this with this, it's a little softer. you have anything any like a uh, another different object that you cannot put in a lathe or other machine you can just tumble it I would say to get a better surface finish uh, that's nice to the touch and you see how it was before it's kind of like yeah I like it why not and for the insides the acrylic piece actually does fit perfectly and for the PCB that goes in here I will just sand down the PCB and do the same for the back because uh, I don't want to hold it down and uh, machine this part and uh, yeah so next video will be putting it together Okay, this is how it turned out and compared to before, way, way better. Before the surface looked like that, now it looks like this. I will for now leave it like that and might try bead blasting it later let's see how it's gonna look like with the actual PCB in it <laughs> 